Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. D O N D W -E once again and welcome back to science. There you go. For today, we're going to have a lesson and also an experiment, okay? So, the topic for science today would be about the question does water conduct electricity? Okay, does water conduct electricity? That's the question. Okay. So we're gonna find it out, okay? So first things first, what is water? Water, you know, I know, is the universal solvent, guys. It's a universal solvent. Okay, now let's try to define or try to dissect water first, okay? What is a pure water? Okay, let's start. Water from rivers or tap water are actually not pure water. Why is that so? Because they have salt in it and other minerals um, dissolving in, the, in, in water or in the liquid. So therefore, water or water in rivers are not actually pure water. Okay, so that's clear. Now, what is a pure water? An example of a pure water is distilled water. What is distilled water, Mr. Dondi? Okay. Now, when you say distilled water, these waters or this amount of liquid has gone through boiling. There. Number two, it have it, it, it gone through a process, okay, of, of course, steam and it condenses, okay, evaporation and condensation. Now, the output or the outcome of that particular water, we can consider it as distilled water. Is that clear? Okay, now for today, we're going to find out or investigate whether pure water and salty water conduct electricity. All right, so I guess that's the question that we need to answer today. So in order for us to answer, to find the answer to the question, does water or does uh, pure water conduct electricity? Or is it the salt water that conduct electricity? That remains to be answered later on, okay? So let's watch this particular, or the, let's watch this investigation. There you go. Have you guys, let's, go in, let's try to identify if salt water is actually a good electric conductor. Okay, now first and foremost, if you're watching this video, of course, I would like to tell you a simple a simple of fact, pure water or distilled water is not a good electrical conductor, meaning it does not conduct electricity, it does not allow electrons or electrolytes to flow freely, guys, so that's a fact. Now, if you're watching this video, you know the answer already, okay? Now, let's proceed with salt water, okay? Um, it's not a pure water because it's already a solution of salt and water as well. Okay, so let me proceed with this video. Okay, let's figure this one out. Electric conductivity in salt water. So we're gonna prepare some water, of course, and that's going to pour salt into the water and stir it with a spoon. There you go. All right, let's add it. Okay, that's enough, and steer it. There you go, steer, 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 steer. Next, we're going to use some wire inside the mixture, or solution actually. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There, that's how you connect the wire to the LED and the battery. Okay, that's the LED light, okay. So we're gonna connect it here. All right. Let's let's see. There you go. And the other end on that particular wire. Okay. Good. 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 Now the other one will definitely be on the other side or the other terminal. Okay. There you go. Second wire will be connected, and this is what will happen. I'm, we're gonna soak it in water and let's see what happens. Look at that guys, look at that, look at that. It actually lights. There you go. So basically the moment you pour or you put or you placed 
the, the other wire on the salt water, because this is not a salt water, look at the bulb. It lights. Alright, the LED lights up. There you go. So, the salt and the water made the water even more conductive, guys. The electrolytes of salts are very conductive. So, when you plug in, even if the wires are not in contact with each other, the water acts like another wire. And it's a good electrical conductor. So, I think you're ready now to answer your workbook, okay? If I'm not mistaken, it's on page 52, okay? And 53. So, then I would like you to do this properly, okay? So, answer page 52, exercise 5.2. Does water conduct electricity? And also page 53, okay? And don't forget to send your answers to Edmondo. Once again, thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the day. Grade 6 and Pasena and wish no. Bye-bye.